Hello, how are you? My name is Jonathan Aguilar, and today I am in Tijuana, Baja, California, at the company Mebley. We are going to work with the technologies for cutting metal, fiber, laser, and plasma cutting. We will compare them and see their differences. Today we'll be working with the technologies, plasma and fiber. For this, we'll use the amazing Forza Goli, our fiber laser machine with a 12,000 watts power output. And we're going to show the difference when cutting with each of them. First, let's make a brief introduction to each of these technologies. Plasma cutting uses a jet of ionized gas at high temperatures to melt the metal and blow the molten material out of the cut. Let's review the main advantages and disadvantages of this technology. The first advantage is that it allows us to cut much thicker materials. Second, the cost of the machine is much lower. One of the disadvantages is that the cutting line is much thicker, the edges are rougher and less precise, and there's more slag and burr, especially on thick materials. On the other hand, we have fiber laser cutting, which uses a focused beam of light to melt the metal. The Forza Goliath, with its 12,000 watts of power can deliver extremely precise and clean cuts, perfect for jobs that require high precision and a quality finish. The advantages of fiber laser cutting include very precise and clean cuts, ideal for thin and complex materials, less slag and residue, high speeds with powerful machines, and the ability to cut thicker metals with the right assist gas. Disadvantages of fiber laser cutting, it comes with a higher initial equipment cost. Now that we know the pros and cons of each technology, it's time to run a real test. We're going to cut these two pieces of half-inch thick steel, first with the plasma machine, then with the Goliath fiber laser, and then compare the final results. Let's take the piece and look at the first results. The first thing I had to do was wear heat-resistant gloves, since the plasma cutting process generates intense heat on the metal. That's already a first disadvantage this level of heat tends to temper the material, which can affect its properties for future use. Second, well, looking at the cut, we can clearly see a lot of slag left on the edge, as well as visible cutting lines that are not very clean. And if we focus on the circular shapes, they're not perfectly defined there's even a slight bevel on the edge something we won't see when we check the laser cut in a moment you don't see that bevel in the laser cut so now we're going to proceed with the test using the fiber laser Let's check the final results. Right away, the difference is noticeable. The cutting edge looks almost perfect, smooth and sharp, with a clean finish. When we look at the burr, you'll see there's virtually none the surface of the piece is clean, with no excess material sticking out. And once again, we notice a fully clean and precise edge, which stands in clear contrast to the plasma cut, where the burr is thick and very evident. Let's compare both pieces. First, the cutting edge. As you can see, the plasma cut is noticeably rougher, and there's visible burr along the edge. In contrast, the laser cut is much cleaner, with a smooth finish and no burr at all. Which means it's ready to use straight off the machine. Next, 
There's a clear advantage in how each cut circles, the laser cut shows a perfect circle, while with plasma, you can see a bevel inward. So just by looking at them, you can clearly see the huge difference between the two technologies, laser and plasma. The choice between plasma cutting and fiber laser cutting depends on the specific requirements of the job. Laser cutting is ideal for tasks that require high precision, high quality cuts, and thin materials. Plasma cutting is more suitable for thicker materials, applications where maximum precision is not needed, in situations where the initial cost is an important factor. Both methods have their own advantages and disadvantages, and the right choice depends on the specific needs of the project and the materials involved. In summary, fiber laser technology can perfectly replace plasma, even for thick materials. If you're looking for precision, quality, and less post-processing, fiber laser, especially a machine like the Forza Goli, is definitely the right choice. And what do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more amazing tech content. See you next time.